Hey there, Ross Goldberg here, and I'm about to tell you a story, and it's a story of a screw up. So initially, I had actually made a couple of really small mistakes towards the end of last week that directly led to me looking like an absolute incompetent fool. So my initial response was to lose it, freak out, be like, oh my goodness, what the hell did I do? And what the hell do I do now? Because this was related to something really important, a uh, cornerstone of my business now and future. I needed this thing not to fail miserably, and that was what it was really looking like. The first thing was to feel like I should go out in the middle of the street and scream for a truck to run me over or something. So that initial voice, you got to own that. You, you own that you screwed up, right? And then the next thing I did was force myself to calm down a little bit. I didn't let that freak out go on because I have a habit of doing that. When I mess up, I will destroy myself. And that has no value. Owning it is fine. Destroying yourself doesn't do anything good. So the next thing you have to do is step back, take a deep breath, and calm down. Because freaking out and making then making a decision is a really bad call. That is not the time to start making big decisions and big moves. And what I did initially was complicate everything. So I looked at what I did. How can I fix this? What can I do? What should I change? What, how do I fix the whopping six people? I treated it like the whole world had saw my screw up. There were a total of five or six people that saw my mistakes and obviously weren't thrilled with them, but they didn't say anything. No one said, hey, you're a dumbass. This, this is stupid. The next thing I did was listen. And this is where magic can happen. But the first thing you have to do when you listen is tell that evil voice to fuck off. The evil voice, the one that says you're incompetent, the one that says you're a loser, you're just going to screw it up again. Those fun things. You need to tell that voice to fuck itself and listen to the other one because that one is where you're going to find the nuggets of gold and the things that you really should do. And that is how I was able to simplify the screw up and the response into something not only that was good, but that is currently looking to be great and meeting a bunch of the needs for my business that I hadn't really even put a lot of thought into. This is a big deal. Simply own the mistake. Give yourself a moment to calm down. If you've got to walk away, that's cool. And then listen to the good voice in your head, not the evil one. And then get stuff done. Address what you did. Address what broke. Make it better. I believe in you. You've got this. I know I do. I just proved it. Have a good one.